This morning, Americans have a new way of checking up on their doctors, a federal database list financial ties between medical providers and drug companies. Those transactions total about $24 billion a year. The Physician Payments Sunshine Act is part of the Affordable Care Act. Under the, uh, under the Obama administration, Dr. Lori Glimpshire is the dean of Weill Cornell Medical College. She's also on the board of the drug maker Bristol Myers Squibb. Dr. Glimpshire, welcome back. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. So it's supposed to provide transparency. So what exactly will it show? It will reveal all of the relationships that physicians have between certain drug manufacturers, medical device companies, and equipment companies. And those will be posted online so that patients can go online and check to see whether their physician uh, is involved in relationships. Those connections aren't monitored now? They are monitored now very stringently by academic medical centers and teaching hospitals. We have very strict conflict of interest rules. But at now we can Cornell. go see it for ourselves. Is what you're go saying. see it for ourselves. Okay. Um, but you know, I would encourage patients to ask their doctors mm -hmm. because sometimes the con the information on the website can be confusing, and it's not put in the context where one can understand where. Uh, the money is going to, whether it's going to research or whether it's going personally to the physician. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the possibility of a conflict of interest. I mean, what benefit is it to a company to have you or someone on a board and what benefit for you is it to serve on the board? Well, I can advocate for patients as a member of a board of a pharmaceutical company and I can help provide advice and help guide that company uh, to investigate and invest in medications that I think um, meet currently unmet medical need that are very important. I mean, we're all in this because we really want to... Yeah, Shouldn't we talk about the consumer? I mean, for the consumer, though, when they go in and see a doctor and a doctor prescribes them a certain medication that may be a brand name rather than a generic name, they have to pay more. And they don't know that maybe their doctor's getting a cut. Well, and I think that's why it's important to be very transparent. I'm all about transparency. You know, as, as uh, Justice Brandeis said, sunlight is the best disinfectant. I think that this is um, a, a good step in the right direction. And at some point, uh, the website will be up and will be operative right now. It's still going through some glitches, but yeah. I'm sure those will get fixed. I think that's good news. Yeah, good news for consumers. Yeah. Dr. Lori Glimcher, good to see you. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here.